Happy Monday, fourth grade. Oh my goodness, I miss you guys so much. It's Miss Lang bringing you math for this week. Math mystery, case of the school invaders. Dun, dun, dun. Look at the um, date, guys. September 5th, 2041. That's a lot of years in advance. How many years in advance is that? For you math people out there. And how old will you be in 2041? See if you can do that math. Well, let's get started. This story here is about some students in elementary school who just got back from vacation, which I would assume summer break because it's September here. And they come back to school and realize that their school has been taken over by these slimy aliens from the planet of Geometron. And they cannot get back to their planet because they are missing their communication device, which is called a transponder. And they cannot find it to be able to get back home. And they need your help. So, going along, and this is kind of just like last week, possible locations that they could have left it. You're going to go through and cross off each and every one of these to make sure that you know exactly where that they left the transponder. Assist all the clues and then cross the location off the list until one remains. The last location remaining is where the school invaders transponder can be found. Woo! All right, this is Monday, rounding. Clue one, it says, crack the code by rounding the numbers below as instructed. So if we come down here, it says, round the numbers below to the nearest 10. So if we were to look at our place value chart as like a refresher, we have ones, tens, and hundreds. So the tens is the second one from the right. So if we look here, ones, tens, hundreds. So if we're rounding this number here to the nearest tens, the middle three is the number in the tens spot. So we look next door, see who's there. It's a four. Four and below, let it go. It goes to zero. So the four becomes a zero. 330. Let's do one more. Still to the nearest tens. This is ones. This is tens. <coughs> if we're rounding to the nearest tens, the tens is the five. We look next door. It's six. Five and above. Give it a shove. We're shoving it up to the nearest ten. So the nearest tens, this goes up. Fifty-six is very close to sixty. 60 is the nearest tens. So there again, you're going to find the number that this goes to. So 330 is O. And here they put 330 is O. 330 is O. Now we come down to this next part. Round the numbers below to the nearest hundred. We look at our chart here. It says ones, tens, hundreds. Ones, tens, six. The first one is in the hundreds spot. So then we have to look and to the right to see who's there. So it's a one. Four and below, let it go to a zero. So this one here is rounded to the nearest hundred, which becomes a... 100. 110 is closer to 100. Let's go do the next one. 362. The this is 1s, 10s, 100s. We look next door to see who's there. It's a 6. 5 and above. Give it a shove. We're shoving it up to the next 100. The next 100, so it's 300. Up to the next hundred is four hundred. Okay, and then so on. Moving to Tuesday, place value, 
Crack the code by writing the value of the underlying digit in each question. So if we were to look here, we have ones, tens, hundreds. That is a four, and it's in the hundred spot, so it's four hundred. The underlying value is in the ones, tens, hundreds. It's a three, and it's in the hundred spot, so the value is three hundred. We'll do one more. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. It's a two. It's in the thousand spot, so the answer is two thousand. Okay, so hopefully you would be able to figure this out. Now just think, if I were to take these numbers and expand them out into expanded form, this one here, 2,484 would be expanded out to 2,000 plus 400 plus 80 plus 4 then the value of the underlying one would be 2,000. Then obviously you're gonna come down here and since we decided this one was 2,000, it's a T, you're gonna come down here and 2,000 is T. Moving on to Wednesday. Reveal a special message about the Space Invaders transponder by completing the multiplication questions below. And lucky for you, these are not too hard at all. You guys know how to multiply. 3 times 2 is 6. 5 times 3 is 4 times 7 is 6 times 2 is. And I can tell you, but these are all easy. You should all be able to get these because you are fourth graders and you know your multiplication. I believe in you. Thursday edition. Discover another clue by correctly completing the addition algorithms below. So, you all know how to add. Be very, very careful that you are carrying the correct numbers to the correct place values. In this case, 0 plus 2 is 2, 4 plus 5 is 9, and 2, 292. 1 plus 5 is 6. 1 plus 6 is 7. Bring the 4 down. Okay? Then you're going to go down to the bottom. Here's all the possible answers, and it gives you the letters for that. And then you're going to place them in the boxes here at the bottom to find your next clue. Which brings us to Friday. Identify shapes. Crack the code by matching the shape names to the correct 2D or 3D shape. All right, we have lots and lots of different shapes here. Now I'm going to explain to you what some shapes mean. I really hope you all know what a square is, and I really hope you all know what a triangle is. Pentagon. All right, you've probably been working on these root. Greek and Latin root words in reading um, for Mrs. Gass's class. My class, we've been working on, on them as well. I'm not sure if we did pint or not. I, I can't remember. But pint means five. Five-sided figure. Rectangle, you should all know what that is. Circle, you all know what that is. Hexagon, that is a six-sided shape. Cylinder, that is, um, you can think of a cylinder as like a Pringles can or um, like a, a soup can or, mm, gosh, I don't know, but I think you all know what a Pringles can and soup can look like. Cube, cube would be just like, um, like a block that you might stack and, and build something with. Octagon, think about an octopus. How many legs does an octopus have? Oct means eight. Octopus. Heptagon, now this one is a tricky one. I think a lot of you probably have never heard of a heptagon. Heptagon is a shape with seven sides. So when you were looking at the top here, 
you're going to have to count these shapes carefully, figuring out which one has how many sides. Each of them have different letters corresponding. Fill in the letters to find the clue. Once you have figured out all the clues, it says solve the mystery. Where is the school invaders transponder located? I don't know. Where is it at? Where is it located? By now, I think you guys should know. Good luck. And have a wonderful, wonderful week, fourth grade. I miss you. And I know Mrs. Guest misses you too. Good luck, everybody.